wishing tree. What's a wishing tree? Our grandpa told us that every year he picks a special tree that makes wishes come true. It's magical. For real? For real. Grandpa! I've been looking for you kids. You know, your parents said the Christmas Eve supper is almost ready. Can Carter stay for dinner? Carter's mom is already here. They're both staying for dinner. <gasps> Sir, is that tree really magical? Yes, it's a wishing tree. You make a wish on it, and your wish might come true. Would you all like to make a wish on the wishing yeah. tree? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Huh? Okay. So go up to the tree, and then whisper your wish so only the tree can hear. I'll go first. Okay. There you go, Angela. Your turn, Carter. <laughs> Well done. Hop in the wagon, Haley. I'll pull you kids back to the house. Yay! You ready? Yeah. yeah. The bouquets haven't arrived yet. Hi, how are you? Wonderful. Well, I told them to be here three hours early. Let me know. Come in. Just wanted to check in on you, see how you're doing. Have you seen Bill? Is he nervous? He's still here, right? <laughs> Bill is great. Everything is going great. This is your special day. Enjoy every second and leave the wedding planning up to me. I'll be right back. Kimmy, any luck on finding the groom's vest? Oh, don't worry, Haley. The backup vest is being sent over on rush, so we should be okay. Okay, and what about the escargot? Claude was worried that the overnight plane might be delayed. Last we spoke, everything was in the kitchen and ready to go. Okay, so once the vest turns up, then it's just the bouquets. I realize I'm the new girl here, but... Why did we have to fly in the orchids from Peru? <laughs> You'll quickly learn that at elegant events, we like to go above and beyond. Miss Reynolds insists on it. Miss Reynolds? Yeah, the lady that owns the company signs your paycheck. And she signs yours too. Oh, good afternoon, Miss Reynolds. Afternoon. I didn't realize you were coming down. Cami, go check on the catering. Yeah. This is a big client, Haley. I just wanted to make sure that everything was being handled in our usual fashion. Never fear, everything is going great. Perfect. Just what I wanted to hear. <sighs> you make it possible for me to sleep at night. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Reynolds. Let's keep it that way. Haley! I am so glad we moved the ceremony indoors. Even for LA today, it is chilly. Mm. Why people want an outdoor winter wedding is beyond me. I don't know. It's kind of uh, magical this close to Christmas, don't you think? As if planning a wedding isn't enough pressure, combine it with a holiday all about outspending and out decorating to amp up the stress. <laughs> Haley, the holidays are the lifeblood of elegant events. If it wasn't for people outspending each other, we wouldn't be in business. <laughs> By the way, isn't your sister getting married soon? Yes, her and her fiancé are going to Fiji. Fiji? Nice. Don't even get me started on that. I am the best wedding planner in all of Los Angeles, and she decided to get married in Fiji? Maybe she didn't want to burden you. I have kept you pretty busy. I've been dreaming of planning her wedding for years. It wouldn't burden me. It would be an honor. Where is that florist? Anything special planned for Christmas? Mm, nothing too exciting. Too bad. You know, my grandfather used to own a Christmas tree farm when I was a little girl. Huh. Now that was some sort of Christmas. Hmm. Ever since we moved to LA, though, it lost its charm. <laughs> but you still celebrate, right? 
Uh, my parents are usually off on vacation somewhere. My sister's with her fiance. <laughs> what about your boyfriend, uh, Ryan? Yeah, he'll probably talk me into some thrill-seeking vacation last minute. Well, don't you run off too far. I might need you. You're the best planner I've got, and I don't want anything taking you away from me. Nose to the grindstone? Exactly. <laughs> don't worry about a thing, Miss Reynolds. Everything will work out. Good. Finally! Where are the rest of them? The rest are in the van. <sighs> Can you grab these? Oh, OK. <laughs> I'll help you grab the rest. Nice. <sighs> Cannot believe they double booked this venue. Can't believe this client is completely ignoring our contract. Oh, yeah. Are you free on Thursday? My parents want to do dinner, and you should probably come. Thursday. So I'm meeting with the Schwimmer account. I don't know what time it'll wrap up. Okay. Don't worry about it. You sure? Totally. Hey, I'll make it up to you. I promise. In fact, there's something I want to ask you. Turns out I have a few days off for Christmas. What do you say you and I go ice diving in the Netherlands? The Netherlands? Are you joking? And what is ice diving? It's just like scuba diving, except under a thick layer of ice. It's supposed to be breathtaking. Mmm, yeah, no. I don't even do real scuba diving. You'll learn. My client knows this guy who teaches you and guides you through the best dives. From what he says, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, I was kind of hoping we could spend Christmas here in the hot tub. Funny. No, but seriously, I was looking forward to having a few days off from work to relax. Oh, you can still relax. In the Netherlands? Yeah. I mean, the plane ride's like 11 hours long. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. Okay. Just let me know soon, because apparently this guy's in pretty high demand, and I need to pull the trigger, like, ASAP. And that's little Angela right after the town Christmas pageant. And there's Dad. Well, I'll tell you, I never <laughs> saw a man happier hauling around Christmas trees all day. <laughs> and I grab the cake. Hi, hi. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> this one bride I'm dealing with will not stop calling me about this list of everything that's going to go wrong. And her wedding isn't for another year. You worked so hard at that company, I'm just glad you got to make it here at all. <sighs> Help yourself to a plate. Thanks. You want to cut the cake? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you guys doing? Well, Paul's never seen any photos of the farm, so... So you're making him look at old family photos? What is this, one last torture test before the wedding? So do you still own the property? Well, after Grandpa died, he left it to Dad, but then he sold it. Come on, honey, don't say it with that tone. I, I, I lived there my whole life. I wanted something new, something different. You know, Chris's tree farming just wasn't my calling. And I still miss it, but I think it was for the best. <laughs> and who's that? Aw, Carter Wilson. He used to live down the road. They were so in love. Not at all. We were just best friends. <laughs> Is that your grandma? Mm hmm. You look just like her. Yeah, they got engaged at the wishing tree. The what now? <laughs> it was called the wishing tree. It was a special tree. They picked it out every single year. Grandpa said if you made a wish on it, then it would come true. Are you okay? Mm hmm Yeah, I once wished that I would get married there one day, just like them. You never told me that. I didn't think it was possible, so I never mentioned it. And I knew how much Fiji was your dream wedding. My dream wedding is with you. It doesn't matter when or where. Well, uh, the farm is still there. The Truxton Christmas Tree Farm. <laughs> that was the wedding that I wished for. 
I'm so sorry, Paul. I got so swept up in the whole Fiji plan, but that's not how I pictured my wedding. You know what? I was thinking the exact same thing. Fiji's amazing, but you're so close to Malibu, right? No, Haley, I, I don't want Malibu. And, and Paul, I don't want Fiji. I know this sounds crazy, but I want Truxton on Christmas Eve like grandma and grandpa. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna have to wait till next year to plan it. What if we pull an audible and we just do it there this Christmas? <laughs> Angela, Christmas is just around the corner. It's short notice, and I know that this sounds like it's coming out of nowhere, but this really was my wish. To be married on that farm on Christmas Eve, and if anyone can put this thing together, it's my beautiful sister, who's won five Wedding Planner of the Year awards. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? This is really what you want. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. We'll need your help. Now I know you two are perfect for each other because you're both crazy. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is Haley from Elegant Events calling. I've called several times. I wanted to ask about holding an event up at your farm. Either way, I'm driving up there now to inquire in person. <sighs> Call Ryan. Hey babe, that was not the best time. I'm actually about to go into a meeting. I'll be quick. Major change of plans. My sister wants to get married in Truxton at my grandfather's Christmas tree farm on Christmas Eve. <laughs> so I'm going up there now to start planning this thing. That all seems pretty sudden. You're telling me? Anyway, I know you wanted to go ice diving in the Netherlands, but I was hoping you could come to my sister's wedding instead. <sighs> I don't know, Haley. Like, I, this trip is pretty hard to set up. All right, I just booked it and I don't really want to lose my deposit. Well, see what you can do to unbook it. This is important. I'll call you later. Yeah, perfect. I'll be home. Drive safe. Hey there, need some help? Yes, um, I don't know what's wrong with it. There's a red light on the dash. <laughs> Haley Foster? Wow, I, <laughs> I can't believe it's you. <laughs> oh, Carter Wilson. Oh my God, Carter? You used to be so little. <laughs> so did you. 
You're really growing up. Uh, are you uh, headed down to the farm to pick out a tree? No, but I was actually heading up there to talk to someone in charge. Oh, well, you're in luck. I'm the owner. No. Uh, how's Angela? That's sort of why I needed to talk to the owner. Is everything okay? Yes, she's great. Everything's more than okay. Glad to hear it. Well, um, let me take a look under that hood. It's probably an easy fix. <laughs> Thanks. Haley Foster. <laughs> so what do you think? Tried to keep it close to how your grandfather had it? Hey, I painted that sign. Do you still have the wishing tree? Oh, of course. New one every year. Can't mess with the wishing tree. We'll break the spell. Hey, Bob, you owe me 50 bucks. I sold that spruce you said was too small. Brenda, this is Haley Foster. She grew up here. Haley Foster? That Haley Foster? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Brenda's one of our best salespeople. She outsells the guys half her age. Oh, I I'd give you a proper handshake, but I'm covered in sap. No worries. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> How did she know who I was? Uh, I may have mentioned your family a time or two. Uh, you want to go inside where it's warmer? You still like hot cocoa, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <sighs> Let's go. Kept the old place pretty much just as you remember it? Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't remodel it. Don't be surprised. You're from around here. You know how this old place can grow on you. Can you be from a place and not remember it at all? No, I, it's just, it's nice. I just didn't think I was going to be coming back here. There's no reason to. I take pride in being from Truxton. I could think of a million reasons why someone would come back here. You do realize there's places with more than one gas station, right? You think I've lived in Truxton my whole life? Well, you were here as a kid. You're here now. Well, let's see. I went to law school in New York, and then I joined a small firm in San Francisco. So you dropped all of that to buy my grandfather's Christmas tree farm. One of our clients needed a special type of lumber for a project he was working on. I heard this place was for sale and could provide what he needed, so I snatched it up. One thing led to another. You walked out on a law firm in San Francisco to come back here. I did. Don't you miss it? The rat race of the big city? Not at all. No. Having like a reputable job. <laughs> wow, you're a lot different than the Haley that I remember. Yeah, I grew up. So why are you here again? I'm a wedding planner in Los Angeles and I was hoping to rent out the space for an event. Hmm. So you insult me in my way of life, and then you ask me for a favor. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm just surprised. Well, I'm sorry. We don't hold private events here. It's for Angela. It's Angela's wedding. I, I should have set that up front. My very first best friend. Well, who's the lucky guy? What's he like? His name is Paul. He's sweet. He's a pharmacist. He's head over heels in love with her. They were supposed to get married in Fiji, but then she shocked us all and said she wanted to get married here on Christmas Eve. She said it was her wishing tree dream. Mm. Well, that's only a few weeks away, so. If you just let me have the venue, I can handle the rest. It's what I do. This is Angela we're talking about. Okay, you can have the wedding here. Thank you. Now, what kind of price is gonna make you happy? Let's just say it's a wedding gift for Angela. We were best friends growing up, and I always honor the wishing tree. <laughs> oh yeah, the wishing tree. 
I'm not really sure Truxton can provide all the things you're used to for a L.A. wedding, though. And it is Christmas Eve. Don't worry about any of that. I have the hookups to some of the best vendors in L.A. I just came here a few weeks early to get things going. Also, you should really check your answering machine once in a while. Well, I guess this small town hick is a little bit too laid back for you, huh? I never referred to you using any of those words. Hmm, but you implied them all. Well, I just never have met anyone that would drop everything for a Christmas tree farm. Then you're meeting all the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Her sister Angela wants to have her wedding here on Christmas Eve. Good. I always thought this place should start hosting some special events. Great. Well, I'll just go into town and get a room at the inn. Lots of things to do. Oh, hogwash. No, there's a handful of empty guest rooms in this place. Stay here. Uh, I'm sure Haley is used to a higher thread count than anything we can offer her here. Actually, that would be great. At least for one night. And there you have it. All right, fine. I'll go grab your bag. Great. Better get to work. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah. Thanks, Brenda. You're welcome. Donna. Hi, this is Haley Foster calling. Yes, thank you so much. It looks so great. Listen, I know this is super last minute, but I was thinking maybe seven dozen white roses for Christmas Eve up in Truxton. <laughs> what if I transport them myself? But Donna, it's me. <laughs> okay, thanks anyway. Hi, Bryce. What are you and the boys doing for Christmas Eve? Well, what if you could spend it playing for a wedding on a Christmas tree farm up in Truxton? Hello? <sighs> Pauline, it's Haley. Yes, thank you. The Donovan wedding was perfect. Everyone loved that shrimp dish. Hey, I actually have another gig for you. It's for my sister's wedding. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be on Christmas Eve. Oh, you're in Barbados. Oh, okay. No, of course. <sighs> what is wrong with everyone? Don't they know Christmas is the best time of year to make money? It's fine, I can just do it by myself. Miss Reynolds. Hello? Haley, how you doing? Fine, Miss Reynolds, just fine, how are you? Never better. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to some business. Business? Haley, I need you to plan out a top flight wedding that just fell into our lap. Me? Who else? You're the best I've got. It's for New Year's Eve, so you gotta get cracking. But Miss Reynolds, I'm out of town. I'm planning my sister's wedding. She decided not to get married in Fiji, and now she's getting married on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve? How much is she paying you for this? Well, I I'm not charging her. She's my sister. Haley, you're my best planner. Honey, I need you for New Year's Eve. I'm counting on you. I understand, but I can't just walk out on my sister. She would never speak to me again. And I'm having car trouble. You've got some serious thinking to do, young lady. If we're gonna pull off a New Year's wedding, we've gotta start planning now. I'm sorry, Miss Reynolds, I wish I could help. Well, I'll start prepping everything, but you stay by your phone. All right, Miss Reynolds, I'll be available. Good girl, talk to you soon.
good morning. How'd you sleep? Not so good. I still have so much stuff to do and I have to go into town. There's still a florist here, right? Oh, yeah, she's a doll. She'll help you, no problem. My car won't start. Carter's heading into town to run some errands. You can catch a ride with him. Oh, no, it's fine. Carter! What? Hey, Haley needs a ride to town. Uh, you're going to the hardware store, right? Brenda. Problem solved. Come on, let's go. So, where do you need to go in town? Just the inn. I need to book some rooms for the wedding guests. And to the florist. And I need to see what restaurants cater. And I need to find a DJ or a band. Wait a minute. Uh, I thought that you had the hookups for all these fancy LA vendors. I may have misjudged their willingness to come to a place like this on Christmas Eve. Well, I guess you made it a full 10 hours since last insulting this town. <laughs> Look. I can see the things I said bothered you, but I think we got off on the wrong foot. I just don't understand how anyone would throw away a well-earned career to come back to Truxton for a Christmas tree farm. I just did it again, didn't I? Let me ask you something. How many hours a week do you work in LA? It's probably easier to tell you how many hours a week I don't work. And it's fun, right? <laughs> what does that even mean? It's a career, it's not supposed to be fun. So that's a no. <laughs> it's stressful. That's what happens when you're good at what you do and you work your way up at a world-renowned event planning company. Yep, I used to have the same mindset. What? Now you're gonna tell me how much fun it is to work at a small-time lumber operation and Christmas tree farm? Mm, it can be. But you know what is fun? Making my own hours. Deciding that Instead of staying late at the office, I'm just gonna go home and make dinner for my friends. I guess we have different definitions of fun. Maybe. Or maybe you just forgot what it's like altogether. No, see, that's not true. Me and my boyfriend Ryan, we have fun. He's one of those extreme adrenaline junkies. On our third date, he took us to an indoor skydiving place. Mm. Well, forgive me. I guess you really do know how to have fun. What do you think? Looks exactly the same. Is that a bad thing? No, it's nice. All right, well, I gotta go run some errands. Uh, meet you back at the truck. Sure. Thanks for the ride. Haley? Haley Foster? Oh my god. Lisa Brooks? <laughs> hey, I haven't seen you since, what, our sixth grade barn dance? <laughs> yes, I think we were wearing those plaid overalls. Oh. Gross. What were we thinking? Oh, <laughs> what indeed? How'd you know it was me? Oh, I recognize you from all those articles in the style magazines, you know. Haley Foster, wedding planner to the stars. <laughs> Your job seems like pure glamour. <laughs> oh, it is not all glamour. But it's good to promote the business, I yeah. guess. So what brings you back to our little town? Well, my sister Angela decided to get married here on Christmas Eve. No kidding. Yeah, at my grandfather's old Christmas tree farm. Carter's place, yeah. That's the uh, one. Look, between you and me, if I hadn't been married with two kids when Carter rolled back into town, I would have been all over that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you need a caterer? I own the diner up the street. Oh, good for you. Thanks. Um, no, there's some caterers back in LA that I'm looking into. Oh, well, I mean, if it falls through, just keep me in mind. I don't really think diner food is the exact vibe we're going for. Oh, right. Right. Um. Okay, yeah, well, I gotta get back to that diner food, so it's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Thanks for the offer. Yeah.
in the kitchen. Come on in. I hope you weren't standing out there too long. I had to take these turnovers out of the oven the exact moment you rang the bell. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Florence? It's me. I'm Haley Foster, Joe Foster's granddaughter. Oh, of course you, oh my goodness. Little Haley Foster, let me look at you. Oh, oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, you look so much like your grandmother when she was young. Oh. I do? Let's run in your family. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I know this is short notice, but I have about 25 people coming into town for Christmas Eve. My sister Angela's getting married at my grandfather's old tree farm, and I was wondering... Oh, sweetheart, I am so sorry, but the inn has been booked up for Christmas for months. Really? People stay here over Christmas? Oh, of course they do. We book Christmas a year in advance. So nothing, not even one room. I'm so sorry. Are you going to stay here through the wedding? Well, I was planning on going back to LA to work on another wedding, but apparently planning a wedding in Truxton requires me to actually stay in Truxton. I could set a cot up for you in the living room if you have no place to sleep. Oh no, that's okay. I'm gonna stay at my grandfather's farm. I hope Carter's okay with me staying a little longer. Oh, isn't he just a lovely young man? <sighs> yeah, he is. Can I give you my business card in case something opens up? Oh, sure. Oh, it was so good seeing you. You know, not a day goes by when I don't think about your grandparents. Oh, would you like a turnover? No, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Miss <sighs> Reynolds. Haley, why haven't you answered any of my emails? I've just been really overwhelmed with my car and all. Overwhelmed? Nonsense. Look, I really need your input on this New Year's Eve wedding. I know you do. I realize you're busy throwing your sister's little shindig. But this is no ordinary wedding. It's the oldest daughter of J.P. Morrison, the hotel magnet. It could really put my company at the top. I understand. Then get a move on it, girl. You really need to decide what's important to you. Goodbye. Yes, I do really need to decide. That's your new host. Thank you. You still have so much work to do. Guess I'll tag along then. Oh, by the way, there's absolutely no room at the inn. And I was wondering if I could stay in the guest room for a little longer than anticipated. How much longer? Just to the wedding. Oh, we still need to check in with the florist. Oh, hello, oh. beautiful. Well, hello, Carter, my dear. Well, looking radiant as ever. Well, flattery will get you everything. <laughs> uh, well, this is Haley. Her sister's <gasps> looking to have her wedding on my farm on Christmas Eve. And I think that requires some flowers? Yes, seven dozen white roses, and I was thinking four dozen miniature ball dahlias, but regular dahlias will work as well. And as an accent, maybe some ranunculus? Oh, my dear, I don't think you've come to the right place. See, I grow all the flowers here myself, and this time of year, nothing really blooms up here on the mountain. But what I do have tons of this time of year is Christmas wreaths. So you're saying you have no flowers? Does a wedding really even need flowers anyway? Well, how else are we supposed to accent the aisle? I'm telling you, a little ribbon and the wreaths would look so amazing. Yeah, thanks, but I'm already sitting on enough pine needles as it is. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't be of more help. If you come to the Christmas tree decorating party, you can see what a few wreaths can do. I hope to see you soon. See you later. Nothing is going right so far. Nothing. I have nowhere for the guests to stay, nothing for them to eat, and the wedding won't even look like a wedding. All right, first of all, take a deep breath. Second, you know, maybe it is going to be a little bit different than how you imagined it, but you know, some things are going right. Let's say you booked the venue, so you can check that off your list, and that was your main reason for coming here, right? Yeah, I guess. Carter, what was that Christmas tree thing that she was talking about? Well, every year I donate a tree to the community center. 
and uh, people come and they bring their ornaments from home and decorate the tree. Sounds... Small town, I know, but it is fun. I was gonna say, it sounds nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what's next on your wedding planner to-do list? Um, I'm gonna need some twinkly lights and no one online can deliver the quality I need for my sister in time. Yeah, I think this close to Christmas, you're not gonna find what you're looking for. And the hardware store is completely out. Yeah, and people are probably attached to the ones that they have hanging on their house. <laughs> why couldn't Angela just give me more time? Well, yeah, why don't you just move the wedding to next year? She's madly in love with Paul and they didn't want to wait another month to get married. Imagine being that crazy about someone. Well, don't you feel that way about, what's his name, Ryan? Well, we haven't been dating for that long, and I don't know. What's it to you? N nothing. Uh, you know, I do know where we can find those lights you're looking for, though. Where? I'll show you. It looks so different. Yeah, it does. They've done some remodeling since you were here. All the choir performances, <laughs> the annual Christmas pageant. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, when I was eight, you got cast as Mary, and you stayed in character for two full weeks. I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, <laughs> you had this old-timey voice, but it turned into some Cockney British accent. <laughs> Hello, Gavna. <laughs> <laughs> Well, last year they did a production of The Christmas Carol and the entire stage was full of lights. Swinkly lights? Maybe. Fingers crossed. What if we take the kids and we head right up Main Street to the park? Well, that sounds like an excellent idea. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I like that. Perfect. Afternoon, Reverend. Carter, welcome. Did you come by to volunteer for this year's caroling? Oh, no, not exactly. I actually came to ask a small favor. This is Haley Foster. She's in town for... Haley Foster? How wonderful to see you after all these years. Hey, Reverend. Hello, Chris. Uh, where should I put this? Oh, just put them down right here for now. Right. Chris, this is Haley Foster. Old Joe's granddaughter? That's me. <laughs> Chris owns the antique store on Main Street. And he's been kind enough to loan us an antique lantern so we can make our caroling rounds this year. That's a lot of lanterns. Uh, they only need one, but uh, I wanted to give them some choices. Well, Haley's sister Angela is getting married on my farm on Christmas Eve, and we were wondering if we could borrow the lights you used for last year's show. Of course. We won't be using any of them this year. Here. Take anything you need from our storage room. Julie will show you everything we have. Thank you, Reverend. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's no trouble at all. And if you'll be needing a minister for your sister's wedding, look no further. Thank you. Uh, Chris, let's take a look at these lanterns. Hi, I'm Julie. You know, if you need any music for the wedding, you should check me out. I've got a complete DJ setup. It's small, but it's mighty. Thanks, I'm still trying to figure it all out. Well, keep me in mind. It's a simple setup, but it's, it's small, but mighty. Yeah. Got it. Great. Well. Come on, let me show you where the lights are. <laughs> the perfect dress. Come in. Hey, uh, just wanted to let you know I replaced that hose in your car. Thanks for doing that, and thank you for today, and thank you for letting me stay here longer. No problem. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, anything. Where did you find these photos of my grandfather? Oh, I actually found a bunch of old photos in the attic. I hope that's okay. I didn't really have the address to send to your family. Oh, yeah, it is no problem. I'm glad you hung them up. They belong here. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this or not, but my dad died before I was born. So uh, when we moved to Truxton, it was just me and my mom. I think that's why I loved coming here so much as a kid. 
So many fun things to do, people to hang out with. <laughs> it was really sad when you guys moved away. Yeah, me too. I thought you were uh, excited to get out of such a small town. <laughs> Not exactly. Moving to Los Angeles as a seventh grader was torture. Kids would make fun of me for being the country girl. <laughs> Eventually, I just wanted to fit in so bad, I let go of who I was. Guess I kind of got caught up in it all. I think I kind of did. Nah, it's still in you. <laughs> That's the special thing about this place. You can try to let it go, but it won't let you go. Anyway. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> All right. What I'm done is going to look a lot better, but you get the idea. It will look perfect. I just wish I had a couple dozen white roses to line the porch with. The chairs will go here. Don't forget to remind me to grab those. Community center? Right. You should call Florence down at the end. She has the hookup. OK, I'll call her right now. What? Nothing. I could just tell that planning this wedding means a lot to you. Well, yeah, Angela's the perfect sister. So I want to plan her the perfect wedding, just like she wished for on the tree. And what was your wish? That was it. That's what I wished for when I was little. That Christmas would last all year round. That was your wishing tree wish? Hey, I was eight. No, no, it's, it's a good wish. And who knows, maybe it'll come true. Angela's wish is coming true. My wish came true. What did you wish for? Uh that I could stay here forever. At least that was the first part. There was more? Well, it's kind of a two-parter. Well, are you gonna tell me the second part? <laughs> and risk breaking the spell? I don't think so. So glad you made it. Have you met my granddaughter, Julie? Yes, I met her at the church when we were getting the lights. Really? I get around. Oh, Julie hosts bingo here. You should play. Oh, I have way too much to do. But I was wondering if we could borrow some chairs and tables for the wedding. Oh, I am so glad you called. I felt really bad about not being able to help with the lodgings. Oh, please don't. It's not your fault. Well, we'll show you what we have and then, hey, if you stay for bingo, you stay for bingo, huh? <laughs> I really can't bingo today. Are you coming to the Christmas tree decorating party? I have a lot to do, but I'm going to try. I'm handling the music. You can check it out. Maybe I will. Oh, you really should. Come on. Come with me. There you are. You've been gone all day. What's that? It's the layout to the reception. No, no, I meant this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won that at bingo. Oh. Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It was actually so much fun. Huh, taking a break from work is fun. What kind of talk is that? <laughs> Where are you off to? Oh, I got to go pick out the perfect tree for the decorating party. Well, how do you decide the right one? I could show you. You want to come help me? I really have to get this done. Or I can wait. 
will wonders never cease. So, uh, we grow all kinds of trees here, just like your granddad did. But, um, the most important thing is to look for a rich, even color all around. But the best sign is the smell test. <laughs> The original air freshener. I think this is the one? It's perfect. <laughs> Ready to cut your first tree? Oh, no, I better not. <laughs> My assistant back in LA won't even let me handle a hot glue gun. It's all right, I'll show you. There you go, put your hand right here. All right, hold it right there. <laughs> and the most important thing is to remember to put nice, even pressure as you go, just like that. Start on this side. My baby's home, so far away. And now that it's Christmas time, I just wanna say, won't you come home? Come home for Christmas this year. Care to join me for some hot cocoa? Now, Chris, I thought you said you were going to wear a costume this year. <laughs> See anything you like? Mm. <laughs> Wait, are you two an item? Oh, he wishes. Uh, she just can't admit she's crazy about it. <laughs> we're just two kids having a good time, right, Chris? <laughs> so what do you think? Hi. Uh, about what? See how much you could do with something so simple as pine cones, pine needles, and a little ribbon. Yeah, it looks so good, actually. How about I make a few extra for the wedding? OK. I think a couple more wreaths could add a nice accent to the reception. Yeah. You need to come around. Haley, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's about to start the music. Look at you, little social butterfly. Every time I turn around, you're talking to somebody new. When in Rome, right? <laughs> what smells so good? Oh, that would be Lisa's famous gingerbread trifle. Gingerbread trifle? Isn't that a little extravagant for diner food? I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> After Lisa graduated high school, she went to some Culinary Academy in France. Wow. Oh, I made such a mistake. Lisa offered to cater the wedding, and I said I didn't think diner food would be appropriate. No. Yeah. I have to go talk to her. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I did sell you. Carter, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, hi, Haley. I'd love to try some if I could. Oh, you sure it's not too dinery for you? <laughs> OK, I deserved that. Look, I just wanted to apologize about how horrible I was acting the other day. I shouldn't have made any assumptions, and I'm, I'm just really sorry. OK, here, try this. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Carter, you want some? Uh, maybe later. I'm going to go check on the other guests. OK, cool. So how are things going with him? Who, Carter? Yes, Carter. He's really great, actually. Great. Great, like Greg Baker in fourth grade great? Greg Baker, <laughs> I haven't thought of him in years. <sighs> but seriously, you you know you can tell me if anything's going on. <sighs> I have to admit, I haven't seen him smile as much around anyone before. <sighs> no, he just puts up with me. And I already have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Let 
let's say hypothetically that I begged for your forgiveness and admitted that I made a huge mistake. What would you say? I'd say come by the diner tomorrow after I close and we'll do a tasting. I would love that. <laughs> and bring Carter. What? Look, it's more sensible for me to cook for two than one, and besides, my recipes are not designed for a single serving. And an extra opinion never hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it was all very sweet, actually. The whole tree was decorated with something different from each person. And my childhood friend Lisa was there. She made this amazing dessert. I could not stop eating it. That all sounds really cool, honey. Glad the whole thing hasn't been too stressful. Oh no, it's been very stressful. But being around these people makes it a good kind of stress. Does that make any sense? Totally. Hey, look, it's getting late. I gotta get up early for a meeting. Oh, I've been babbling on and on. Yes, go to sleep. I miss you. I know, but we'll see each other at the wedding. I'm really gonna try to make it. Well, I'd hope so. It's my sister's wedding that I've been working very hard to plan. I know. I'm just working on the travel dates. Doing my best. I know you are. Thank you. Good night, Haley. Good night. You're saying there's no possible way for me to hire two buses to bring our guests 30 miles on Christmas Eve. Well, if there was a place for them to stay closer to the location, they'd be staying closer to the location. <sighs> it smells so good in here. Did everyone in this town study at some fancy culinary school? Well, life is all about the right cinnamon to vanilla ratio, so. So, you're a lawyer, a Christmas tree farmer, an auto mechanic, and a gourmet chef. Why are you still single? Good morning, you two. Hey, have you heard the news? What news? If you're in the mountains, take cover. A huge snowstorm is supposed to blow in overnight Friday through the Truxton region of the San Mateo Mountains. It's been warmer than usual in the area, but our snowless winter is about to come to an end in a few days. No, 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 that's the day before the wedding. Uh, that weather guy has been predicting snow since Halloween, and he hasn't been right once. So don't freak out. But what if he is right? I mean, it's already gonna be cold outside. Add a snowstorm to the mix and we're gonna have to move everything inside. And how are people even gonna get up here? I mean, what if the roads are closed? This, this is terrible. Well, we could always move the wedding into the church if we have to. No, the whole point was for Angela to get married at the Christmas tree farm. Well, I say unless we see a snowflake, we don't panic. Hey, remember to save room for that tasting later. Wow, this is amazing. Welcome. Please, have a seat. You really outdid yourself this time. Well, wanted it to be romantic. <laughs> you guys are sampling a wedding menu, so figured I'd give you the full effect. Yes. Oh, it smells so delicious in here. Thank you. Oh. Cheers. To your sister? <laughs> For our starter, I would like you to try our gnocchi pesto parmesan. Mm. If the entire meal consists just of this, I'll be happy. Do they serve this at the diner every day? <laughs> Why haven't I eaten here? <laughs> now this is a goat cheese salad with field greens, golden raisins, poached pears, almond, and an apple balsamic dressing. 
Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, you look lovely. <laughs> and this is a free range organic chicken breast with oven roasted potatoes and seasonal vegetables. Now, this would be the wedding cake. It's a strawberry cream cake. Okay, I don't even have to taste this because I just know. <laughs> Will you please, please accept my apology and cater Angela's wedding? I would be honored. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Just because I said I didn't have to taste it doesn't mean I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> have done herself. <laughs> well, it's almost here, folks. The storm should roll in late tonight, so expect to wake up to a blanket of snow. No need to dream of a white Christmas this year. It's about to be a reality. But along no, the no, no. Don't watch that. It's going to make you more stressed. Paul will be here any minute, and we still have so much stuff to do. Well, their room's all set up. Thank you for letting them stay in the spare bedroom. I'm still working on all the lodging accommodations for the rest of the guests. You don't think people will mind staying in tents in December, do you? <laughs> They're here. So happy you're here. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, this is Paul, my fiance. Paul, this is my childhood best friend, Carter. So nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us do this on such short notice. Hopefully, Haley here hasn't been too much trouble. I found ways to manage. Oh, please. You would have been so bored without me these last couple days. <laughs> yeah, bored, calm, relaxed. So is everything on track? Yes, everything is on track. Perfect. I think mom and dad get in tomorrow and everyone else gets in tomorrow and day of. Good, good. Yeah, just a few minor details to settle. Um, but you don't worry about anything. You just stand there and get married. <laughs> You're the best. She really is. Why don't you go in and get relaxed? I'm going to grab the bags. OK. <laughs> Okay, we better get going. There's so little time with so much to do, and none of it even matters if the storm hits. All right, I know the perfect way to relieve some of this wedding stress. Come on. You know, sometimes I wish we never left. I wonder why my dad was so eager to sell this place and start over. Not everybody wants the same life as their parents. Did you? I think me and my mom were similar in a lot of ways. We both loved Christmas. <laughs> um, uh, we were different, too. And when Dad died, she never really opened up her heart to love again. But when she passed away, aside from me, she didn't have anybody. I don't want that. How did she die? The doctor said she just Ran out of gas. I'm so sorry. I feel her here every day. She was so thrilled when I bought the place. I'm just glad she lived long enough to see it. Well, she must be so proud of you. I don't think my grandfather would have felt the same way about me. You're here now. That's all that matters. Go make new wishes on the wishing tree. Come on.
What are you gonna wish for this time? Hmm. That the storm will pass and Angela will get the wedding of her dreams. Okay, okay, okay. You're not supposed to tell me. But... <laughs> you asked. <laughs> So, what'd you wish for? Can't say. Still waiting for part two to come true. Oh. One sec. Hey, what's up? Just thinking about you. Oh, that's so sweet. Feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Well, just a few more days. I wanted to talk to you about that. So my client who's hooking me up with the ice diving guide said his only availability is Sunday through the 26th. So I won't be able to make the wedding. Are you kidding me, Ryan? This isn't some random event I'm inviting you to. This is my sister's wedding. Look, I know that, and I'm really sorry. I just, I don't know when I'll have another opportunity like this again. Besides, Angela wasn't even going to have a wedding in the first place. She won't even notice that I'm not there. That's not the point. I'm sorry, OK? But I have to do this. Just try and understand. Look, I'll throw them a big dinner or something when they get back. All right? OK, I guess that's that. Enjoy your trip. Talk soon. Yeah, I'll call you later. Everything all right? Ryan can't come to the wedding. When I was a kid, I used to get pine sap all over my hands. Well, fun fact, pine sap actually makes great candles. Candles? Wait, that's it. What's it? We can line the aisle with candles. Another fun fact, open flames in a Christmas tree farm, don't really play well together. I have a plan. Chris. Haley. <laughs> What's up? I need a favor. Shoot. I need to rent your lanterns. I'll be very careful. They're for the wedding. All right. Oh, hi, folks. Hey. Oh, Haley, what a coincidence. I was just about to call you when I got back to the inn. Me? Mm, it's this darn storm. People are so worried about driving up here, and there have been cancellations at the inn. As in, you have rooms available? Mm, I do, but the deposits are non-refundable. Book them, book them all. Are you sure? Because if the storm is as bad as they say, your guests may not be able to arrive either. Hey, it's Christmas. Stranger miracles have happened. <laughs> that Dimini turned out pretty great. Who? Carter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is pretty good looking, and he did follow his dreams, and he does make really good pancakes. Is there something you want to tell me? No. No, it's not like that at all. He's been super helpful, but no. Because you're with Ryan? Yeah, because I'm with Ryan. Haley, you're my sister. You can tell me anything. It's just, being here, I don't really miss Ryan. We always have to find the time to talk to each other. When I'm in LA, our busy schedules work, but when I'm here, it just feels different. Is that a bad thing? It's not bad, but it's very telling. Maybe I've just been too focused on the wedding. Or maybe it's because he's not the right guy for you. Well, how did you know Paul was the right guy for you? When I realized I didn't want to spend another day without him.
Need a hand? Yeah, sure. You can hold that box for me. Thanks for doing all this. I know it's a lot of trouble. Don't mind at all. It's gonna look great. I have to ask, when, uh, when you were kids, <sighs> I know this sounds stupid. Haley was joking that you and Angela were in love. <laughs> uh, wow, uh, not in the least bit. <laughs> Angela was my first best friend, but that was it. I actually had a huge crush on Haley. Really? Yeah. I mean, Angela was my best friend, but I probably hung out here way more than normal just so I could be around Haley. No kidding. And now? It was a boyhood crush. It doesn't matter now. So you don't still have feelings for her? We live two very different lives. And she has made it very clear about what she thinks of my life choices. And she has a boyfriend who I can't even compete with, so. He's not all that, believe me. He's not even coming to the wedding. He's going ice diving, which really suits his personality, if you ask me. What's the saying? A watched sky never snows? I can't tell if those are storm clouds. It's gonna drive yourself crazy. The snow will ruin everything. No, it won't. How do you know? Because you're good at what you do. Even if you're faced with an obstacle, you're gonna turn it into something beautiful for your sister. Hot chocolate. Let's go. Clear skies. <laughs> to clear skies and a white Christmas after they say their I do's. <laughs> this is how Christmas should be. Planning a wedding? No. <sighs> Cozy inside with a beautiful tree and a fire, and good company. I hope you know how much I appreciate everything you've done for me the last couple weeks. My wedding's tomorrow and you're sleeping in? <sighs> no storm. There was no storm. Yeah, my weather app said it passed just north of here. Oh my goodness, Carter, no storm! Yeah, I heard. Guys, this is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't take your call. Please leave me a message. Cammy? Yes, Miss Reynolds. I need to see you a moment. I haven't been able to reach Haley for days. Have you heard from her? No, ma'am. Her cell keeps going to voicemail. I know she's been having car trouble. So I've heard. Mr. Morrison is demanding to see a budget. I can't stall him forever. Haley's my go-to girl on matters like this. Make sure my car is gassed up. First thing in the morning, I'm driving up there. I'll bring her back myself if I have to. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hey, 
I'm ready to put out lunch if you're all set here. All right, thanks. You know, the farm has never looked better. Maybe we should start hosting events here more often. I was thinking the same thing. Problem is that it only looks this good and it's going this well because of Haley. <laughs> so hire Haley. She would never leave her exciting LA life to come here. Besides, I can never offer her what she makes in LA and we don't even have enough work to keep her busy. Or is it that you don't just want Haley to work here? Maybe you want something more? Like what? Why don't you just admit it? You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, please. All right. When we were kids, it was just a crush. When she moved away, sure, I thought about it from time to time, but I never expected her to come back into my life. And now, getting to know her again, it's been amazing. She's amazing. Tell her how you feel. Oh, she just laugh it off. And besides, she already has a boyfriend, so. Stay quiet and you'll regret it all of your life. Fess up and even if she rejects you, there's no more shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yes, cheese, please. I'll save all the pepperoni for Angela. Hey, Mom. Hi. Dad. Hi, sweetheart. Everything OK? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who else is coming? <laughs> Ryan. Surprise. I didn't think you were coming. Yeah, well, I talked to the guy directly, and for a lot more money, he's agreed to extend the dates. I leave the day after the wedding. I knew how important it was to you, so I made it work. Aren't you excited? I mean, I thought you'd be happy I changed my plans for you. Can we talk somewhere a little bit more private? Sure. You know, the best thing about rescheduling is that now since I'm not leaving till after the wedding, you can come with. Ryan, I don't want to go ice diving. But you don't want to go after the wedding, or you don't want to go at all? I never wanted to go. Do you remember when we first met? Of course. You were the first woman I went out with whose life was just as hectic as mine. Ryan, we shouldn't have to schedule appointments to have to see each other. Of course we do. I mean, how else would we find the time? By just wanting to be together? I want to be together. Why else do you think I'd be here? You know, why do you think I want you to come away with me? I'm sorry, I don't want to go away with you. Haley, what's going on? Just being here, I've discovered the type of person I want to be. And who is that? Someone who slows down and stops to smell the pine needles. I can't believe you're gonna throw all this away for some thick mountain town. Ryan, you're such a great guy. And you're gonna find this non-stop adrenaline junkie girl and she's gonna be so lucky to be with you. I should go. I hope whatever you found here keeps you happy. Thank you. Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I'm okay. Yeah. 
What's he doing here? Paul, what are you doing here? Angela's just inside eating lunch. You're supposed to be at the inn with your parents. I left my bow tie here. <sighs> I'll get it. Yeah, don't move. It's bad luck. This is like a new hobby. <laughs> Have you seen Paul's bow tie? Oh, I've got it. I knew he'd forget it. <sighs> okay, don't look out the window. Brenda, have you seen Carter? No, not in a while. <sighs> now go, I don't want you to see Angela. <sighs> wow. Carter, that looks amazing. Yeah, it turned out all right. I haven't seen you since, like, yesterday. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Well, Brenda has some pizza inside. You should come get some when you're done here. I can't. Lots more to do here. Are you mad at me? Nope. I should get back to the bride. I'll see you later. Sounds good. <sighs> oh my god. You look so pretty. I seriously don't think I can thank you enough for this. The place looks beautiful and it's everything I wished for and more. <laughs> you wanna help me with this? Yes, of course. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. Carter seemed really upset with me about something, and I can't for the life of me figure out what. We were getting along so well. Well, maybe you should just be honest and tell me your feelings for him. What? I never said that I... Okay. I'm crazy about him. I know. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts, though, right? I mean, I've only been here a few weeks, and it's been the best weeks of my life. Well, how would you feel if you left and you never saw him again? I haven't seen him since yesterday, and I already miss him. And that's how you know. You look beautiful. You don't look so bad yourself. You clean up nice. Well, where's your boyfriend at? I am certainly glad we were able to be of some assistance. The place looks great. Thank you. Carter with some help. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love this property. Maybe I could steer some other weddings your way if you're open to that. Well, that would be up to the property owner. Of course. I don't think this place would look this good ever again without a planner, though. So hire me. You would work here as an event planner? Maybe, if I had an offer. Well, what would Ryan think of that? Ryan? What has he got to do with this? I saw you two together earlier. Oh, you saw us together. Yeah, he was here. And then we broke up. I, I saw you kiss him, though. He was a goodbye kiss. I realized he wasn't the right guy for me. I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> Sweetie, is it time to get started? <laughs> yes, a good wedding planner is always on time. OK. <laughs> we'll talk later. I'm counting on it. You ready to get the show on the road? Let's do it.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Into this holy agreement, these two persons come together to be joined. If any person here can show cause why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. We are all here today to witness the joining in wedded bliss of Paul and Angela. Do you, Paul, take Angela for your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward until death do you part? I do. Do you, Angela, take Paul for your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward until death do you part? I do. With the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Congratulations. This wedding is as beautiful as its planner. <laughs> well, you helped. You make a pretty good team, huh? Why, oh, Miss Reynolds, I am very surprised to see you out here. Looks like I'm too late. Too late? For what? I've been to enough weddings to know when I see the look of true love. Look at them. Mm. And them. It couldn't happen to a nicer girl. Please give Haley my best. I will. In full employer disclosure, I have something to tell you. So do I. You want to go first? <laughs> the other day when I made a wish on the wishing tree, I wished for the same thing that I wished for when I was little. To stay here forever with you. That's the funny thing about wishing. Because yesterday when I made my wish, I wish that I could stay here with you. You know, you have been an unbelievable mentor for her. And I think you're right. Just look at her face. I think she's exactly where she needs to be. Why don't you stick around for the reception and have some champagne with us? No, oh, wish I could. Where do you have to go? I'm trying to take my company to the top. And I have a wedding to plan now. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Attention, everybody. Angela's going to toss her bouquet. Christmas, Carter. Merry Christmas, Haley. I guess sometimes wishes do really come true. And they're always worth the wait.
tree in heaven.